There was a huge um like you know update of the UAE visa system that was done more recently okay. and there are so many options available to people now. Uh we right. had the press conference in Abu Dhabi which um the immigration authority in the UAE if you're just new to the UAE mm-hmm. you would have heard of ICP mm-hmm. but that's the immigration authority so right. the full form is federal authority for identity citizenship customs and port security wow and referred to as ICP yes uh, for short so the ICP actually had a huge press conference where they announced the updated visa system mm-hmm. and there are so many options available now to people and i wouldn't be surprised if people don't know that they might have an option that could apply to them for uh, like you know a different type of a visa or a long term visa or a visa that suits their needs better all right hoda is with us in the studio the living in the uae expert here at gulf news and living in the uae expert in my life <laughs> whenever i have any questions it's always hoda can you help me with this hoda can you please tell me that <laughs> yeah so technically just the editor just the <laughs> <laughs> and then i try to get information from the authorities which if like you know i need to check or something or if yeah. i know that they've announced something that i can tell you more right. easily right right yeah. you're, you're still my expert <laughs> don't try okay so hoda you're joining us today because we're going to talk about the different types of visas right. now to my surprise when i was researching this before we had our chat yeah. i found out that there are like 11 categories yeah. <laughs> there was a huge um like you know update of the ua visa system that was done more recently okay. and there are so many options available to people now Uh, we right. had the press conference in Abu Dhabi, which um, the immigration authority in the UAE. If you're just new to the UAE, mm-hmm. you would have heard of ICP, mm-hmm. but that's the immigration authority. So right. the full form is Federal Authority for Identity, Citizenship, Customs, and Port Security, wow. and referred to as ICP. Yes, uh, for short. So the ICP actually had a huge press conference where they announced the updated visa system. Mm-hmm. and there are so many options available now to people and i wouldn't be surprised if people don't know that they might have an option that could apply to them for uh, like you know a different type of a visa or a long term visa or a visa that suits their needs better i was just going to say a lot of people don't know the different types of visas i mean mm-hmm. i, I- I I don't want to assume on behalf of anyone but yeah. for instance m- myself me myself I was looking up all these different types of visas yeah. first of all I didn't know that they existed second of all I still don't know what each visa is. means or yeah. is exactly yeah. like I don't know yeah. who qualifies for what and I think that's why it's important to have you yeah. in with us today I know okay. today we're not going to be able to cover all 11 yes. yeah. but we will have you back to yeah. discuss the rest the other ones that are like you know perhaps for a different group of people that might be more relevant exactly a bit more specific yeah. than than the yeah. general public so right. today we're going to talk about the ones that the general public can and the most from. popular to be honest okay yeah. perfect okay yeah. so Before we get started, tell us what the different visas are. Uh so you could categorize visas as either a residence visa or a visit visa. So we'll okay. first of all narrow down to residence visas. Right. Then within residence visas, you've got visas that your company would apply for you or you could apply for yourself. And with the updated system, there were a lot more visas that you could apply for yourself, which is a self-sponsored visa. Mm-hmm. Golden visa, green visa, um investor visa, all of those come under self-sponsored visas. Okay. Where you are the sponsor of the visa that you hold. Okay. So that was an option that was really opened up a uh, very like you know wide Uh, mm-hmm. for people mm-hmm. with the latest update uh then you've got the different categories of residence visas um even within self sponsored you've got the golden visa which is extremely popular mm-hmm. you might know someone who's gotten a golden visa and you might be curious about can i apply for it what are the requirements which category can i apply under exactly we're going to um, get into that because that's one of the most important ones right and i've got yeah. a lot of people who've asked me personally as well and a lot of readers write in asking What about this aspect of the golden visa? What is the salary requirement for the golden right. visa? Those are very very common questions because exactly. the 10 year visa was a huge kind of uh, uh, option that residents wanted to get mm-hmm. because it of gives course. them that long term stability. It gives you that option to sponsor yourself. which has its benefits of uh, which we'll talk about in detail. And if you're changing jobs, I mean your visa is still yeah, valid. Yeah, exactly. okay. Sorry, that's did I take your biggest, question? No, no. Okay. <laughs> because that was I was going to mention that but I was like perhaps like you know we'll we'll go into that in depth but Exactly. Well, yeah, if your company was sponsoring your visa. Yeah. Um if you change jobs, your visa would change mm-hmm. along with your work permit. Exactly. So now you can just kind of uh, it gives you more flexibility as a professional. Right. And it opens up what they said when they announced it is to make the job market more competitive right. which it does of course so that's the whole idea so you've got benefits you've got the golden visa you've got the green visa 
you've got the two year like you know the regular employment visa right. as well so and within these there are different subcategories okay. so we can kind of go into them in depth one by one okay but so let's we can just perhaps focus on these mm-hmm. to kind of keep the conversation more focused and more helpful for people I yeah guess. i think so too i think let's pick three that we right. can discuss today the more common ones yeah. um let's say like the green visa the golden visa right. and the remote working visa which yes. is also another interesting one that's very cool actually. it's a really <laughs> yeah. cool one yeah. and it's been making headlines and yeah. we will get into that so yeah. before we get into the other two hmm. let's uh, discuss golden visa since you brought right. it up right. i know that there are two categories within the golden visa so the it, when i was researching there's right. a five year one and there's right. a 10 year right. one right right yeah so i so that's uh that really depends on uh the kind of uh, within one category that applies which is the okay. investor category okay and even the investor category has a lot of like aspects to it so depending on your investment you might get a five year or a 10 year visa oh but, okay but uh, primarily the golden visa for a majority of the categories is a 10 year visa right and the categories i think the first few people who got the golden visa apart from the like you know the big business owners etc were the frontline workers i was just going to say yes like you know during the whole uh, pandemic and and course. the way they worked like you know to like we all experienced how the UA kind of was on top of everything yes. during covid and how the frontline workers were really yes frontline it was very specific yeah. the golden visa it wasn't for everyone and only certain people could yes. get it and you were granted it rather than applying right. for it and right. i remember in the beginning it was it was very very rare for yeah. someone to have a yeah. golden visa but yeah. now it's been opened up to everyone a lot of people and uh, a lot of categories that you can apply under mm-hmm. so that's great news for people who want to like you know it's literally a second home for a lot of people so they want to live long exactly. term they want to get more options and this system actually allows them to do that i, I want to say it's not even a second home it's home like yeah, for me exactly. it's just home you know exactly that's the only home so home. that's the beauty of the uae right. okay so you were saying there are certain categories so what qualifies me for a golden visa is it the industry that i'm working in is it a salary bracket what is it exactly it could be either one of those or okay. an investment okay right so you've got the categories of frontline workers so if you're a healthcare professional um Okay, one rule of thumb that we can follow for golden visa is how do you uh, apply for it? What are the documents I need? And the one rule of thumb you need to keep in mind is you need supporting documents to um make you eligible for any one of the categories. So what's your supporting documents? Sorry, could be that rule of thumb. Mm-hmm. If you're a doctor, the supporting document would be a recommendation letter from either the Ministry of Health or um Department of like DHA in Dubai. If you're a frontline worker, so like so someone from the medical field. From the medical field, if you're a healthcare <clears throat> professional, the authority that governs the industry will give you a recommendation letter. Right. If you are a journalist or a DJ or an artist, um the culture authority of the emirate or the ministry of culture and youth would give you a recommendation letter. You have to be uh, exemplary in the field, for example. Mm-hmm. So that's that's the one thing that like you know people who've really contributed to uh, the community um we had i had interviewed somebody who said that she'd done everything under the sun when it came to um like you know performance mm-hmm. or or like she was an mc she was a youtuber she was like you know um she had hosted events she also did a little bit of art she was an rj and she's like i didn't know if like you know which one thing should i highlight mm-hmm. so what she did was she created her portfolio of work and went to the bike culture and said this is um this is all the work that i've done can you um like you know do you think we, i can apply for the golden visa and they gave her a recommendation letter and she was on the golden visa when we spoke a couple of years ago amazing yeah so wow. that was that was pretty cool so what is the supporting document that you can provide uh, if you are a healthcare professional a recommendation letter from the health authority mm-hmm. of either the uae or the emirate mm-hmm. if you are an investor so you could have the dubai land department help you with the golden visa if right. you invest in dubai in abu dhabi you'll have like you know the abu dhabi department of economic development or they've mm-hmm. got a residence office um there you could get like you know your recommendation letter and the process made easier right if you're a student the ministry of education could give you so you're you're a like you know high performing student the ministry of education tells you here's the letter that you can use to kind of provide as a supporting document mm-hmm. so um if it's like you know so different categories depending on which industry you're in you could get that recommendation letter right the other option is if i have an investment of say 10 million dirhams in in the uae or 2 million dirhams in some cases i can actually put that uh, investment kind of um, the papers in 
as a supporting document or if i earn a certain salary it okay. could be 30000 it could be 50000 depending on which category you're applying under so there's one for professionals and there's one for executive directors okay so um like you know depending on that category the salary requirement might be a little different okay and then you can uh, kind of just provide that proof of your work experience of your salary um certificates etc so in a nutshell if i'm not within a salary bracket i need to get a recommendation from yeah. the ministry responsible or overlooking my industry yeah. so if i'm a journalist or someone uh, working in uh, journalism would be the media Under offices media. yeah media, and yeah. then if it's art or if it's like um, you know if i'm a dj or a social media right. entrepreneur or whatever right. it would be the art Uh, and culture, culture authority, uh, yeah. authority. Right. okay so that's just in a nutshell yeah. yeah okay what else do we need to know like what are the perks of a 10 year visa or like the golden visa so there are quite a few perks so the extended long term residency is the main attraction of course of the visa but what happens is you can then sponsor your family for that same duration uh, i was just going to ask about yeah. that yeah so, and that could like a lot of students have sponsored their parents No. Oh, that's nice. And and which is like you know a really interesting um like you know moms can sponsor their kids, their husbands, husbands can sponsor their wives and children. Um you can also sponsor your uh, parents, but when it comes to parents, grandparents or like you know in-laws, the rules can be a little different so the 10-year mm-hmm. visa uh, might not be applicable in some cases, but for your immediate family f- for sure you can kind of apply for um like you know the 10 year visa you can sponsor as many um domestic workers as you'd need okay so there's no limit on the number of domestic workers one really important um benefit of the golden visa is that you can stay outside the ue for over 6 months and your residence visa will continue to be valid and whereas then, usually if you stay outside the ue for um, for more than 6 months the residence visa becomes invalid Okay. But for golden visa holders that doesn't apply. But past 6 months that's when it becomes to be questioned or is it okay? Yeah, so a regular uh, residence visa if if you have a regular residence visa mm-hmm. back when they were being stamped on your passport exactly. you'd see uh, you'd see that line at the at the bottom saying yeah. uh, staying outside the UAE for more than 6 months would invalidate the visa. Yeah. Um that doesn't apply to golden visa holders. So you can stay longer than 6 months outside yeah. of the country and everything's yeah. fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um that's one of the benefits uh we've got quite a few benefits honestly. Um We mentioned the one in the beginning of of the flexibility just knowing that if you change yeah. jobs it's self-sponsored. Yeah, you're self-sponsored, so. your family's fine, everyone's fine until you find yeah. another job or yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Also, um it's a bit um dark but really helpful. If I pass away, if I'm okay. a golden visa holder and I pass away, my family doesn't need to kind of cancel their visa. Okay. They can stay for that permit, for that extension, the like you know the duration of the, the permit. The duration left after your pass. Okay. Yeah. So okay. it doesn't uh, kind of they were under my sponsorship for example, but they can still continue staying on the visa. Okay. Which is which is also kind of like you know it's it's really helpful to know that like you know that's taken care of. <laughs> of you course. have a lot of planning for like you know death and stuff your bills or whatever. No, of course. Um this is one thing that you can At a time of turbulence like that's the last thing you want to think about or or exactly. worry about. So exactly. yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. Um yes. is there anything else uh, that people should know about when it comes to the golden visa? Off the top of my head these are the main kind of um like you know benefits. Okay. Also like the job flexibility is a huge thing like you said like I can move around um get another job and I don't have to worry about the visa being applied for again. Of course. And now when we're talking about renewal right. uh, is it automatically renewed or no. do you have to reapply all you over again? You have to again? reapply all over again. Okay. And you have to still be eligible. So you have to meet the eligibility criteria. Right. So okay. it's a 10 year visa if you want to get it for another 10 years. The same thing which category are you going to apply under? So are you a professional or do you still work in that field? Uh, do you have the investment that kind of got you mm-hmm. the golden visa? So mm-hmm. they, they, it is sub- subject to being eligible to the category. Right, and the same under. documents have to be submitted yeah. and so on and so forth. Yeah. Okay, moving along. <laughs> so pick pick a category. Okay. And then uh, if you're still not sure, log on to the ICP website, log on to the GDRFA Dubai website, and they actually have very easy quizzes that you can kind of uh, fill in. Oh, nice. And they'll tell you, yeah, you might be eligible for the Golden Visa. That's Abu nice. Dhabi Residence Office has a really helpful website. So depending on which Emirate you're in, you could either go online and check 
okay do i fall under this category mm-hmm. one of my friends said hey i'm a pr professional um can i like you know apply for it and i'm like you'll need a recommendation letter and like you know find out which um, authority can provide it to you or right. you'll need a salary like you know minimum salary requirement so check those things either online um we have a lot of explainers on for example how to apply through dubai culture how to apply it through different like you know authorities um so gulfnews.com/livinginuae would right. be also helpful or go to an amr center go to a typing center they're extremely helpful um you can ask them about the categories and once you know that then you can kind of take the next steps okay i'm eligible let me start with the application form right and they can always write you right they can always write to us we we always welcome um reader questions reader feedbacks they give us um such interesting insights into what people need mm-hmm. and that's essentially what we're here for to kind of get those answers so readers at gulfnews.com is the email address you can um literally follow us on any social media platform facebook instagram twitter tiktok linkedin and just write to us and we'll uh, we'll look into it amazing we're going to repeat that again at the end of the show so that people yeah. you know can remember that right. okay so we've covered golden visas now let's move on to the green visa what right. is that to be honest when yeah. i first heard about that yeah. i was like what what does that even mean and green visa uh, to me was extremely interesting because okay. if i don't have that qualification like a lot of people might not have the salary requirement right. you don't qualify for the 10 year visa you still have another option for a self sponsored visa and a slightly long term visa compared to the 2 or 3 years that you normally get through the 5 year green visa okay so we've got um green visa for professionals we've got green visa for freelancers and we've got green visa for like you know um entrepreneurs etc mm-hmm. so as a professional um if for example my friend if she didn't qualify for the golden visa she could perhaps check for the green visa and that would still be something that would like you know be taken care of for the next 5 years so you don't have to renew your visa etc mm-hmm. and you can mm-hmm. sponsor people you can sponsor your family on it as well um so the green visa if you want to go into a little bit more detail we can kind of pull up the details uh but it's i think it's a great option for people who might not have um the qualifications for a golden visa but still want a long term option I was just going to say so it's is it a bit more like inclusive of different uh, categories It's more widely applicable right Okay so you've got a golden visa golden visa for outstanding talents or specific professionals so data or ai it, but when it golden? comes to, yeah for okay. golden visa so it's a specific category that mm-hmm. you're applying to mm-hmm. for green visa it's professionals okay so it's 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 a wider application okay. of of the like you know requirement which Perfect. is really um, i think it's a great thing for people who who might not have um, the option to go for a golden visa mm-hmm. but they're working um, like you know professionals and they have different kind of um, expertise okay and they want some stability i actually have a question for both so the right. green and the golden um would your company be able to apply for you or do you have to do it individually would you be able to request your company to apply for a golden visa for you or you is it something you can request them it depends on your um relationship with the company okay um from my experience the people who i've seen apply for it have done it themselves because you cover the cost for the visa okay. you are the sponsor of the visa so you have to pay for it um you can just go directly and apply for it yourself okay or you could ask a, a typing center or an expert like you know a visa mm-hmm. expert to kind of apply it for you or if you're an investor you you have a business set up consultant they can apply it for you anybody can help you with it there are a lot of options you could okay. ask your company for it but uh, really i mean you companies already have their own kind of like yeah. you know um like you know work going on in hr so i mean if they help you with it great but mm-hmm. i mean It, it really depends on the relationship you have with them and it's easy and to do it individually so it's not easy. like you need to go through your company. very easy so you you just basically look at the list of documents mm-hmm. one i'll just quickly run through what you need to do right first of all go to a typing center and just ask them and they'll mm-hmm. give you the whole list your photograph your passport copy your emirates id your labor card mm-hmm. your iban number right. and that's something that you know people at, like you know might not have like you know at hand just yeah. keep your iban number ready tenancy contract um spouse etc like if you're applying for your spouse you'd have need their certificates yeah. those those are the basic things which like if you quickly search online or through your email you'll have copies of them ready mm-hmm. um or you could have them on an app like the UAE pass has all those things right um like you know available for you get all those documents in um the iban number is interesting because in case your application is rejected you might get some refund of the application fee oh okay um so just give that your iban number make the application um form payment 
and then they'll just review the documents. They say, okay, the initial thing is approved. You'll have to get your medical test done. Right. Apply for your Emirates ID, which is also for 10 years. Mm-hmm. And that's it. That's, that's basically it. It's and now the visas thing. aren't being stamped either on your passport. Right. So once you get your Emirates ID, that's your primary proof of residence. So it's, it's really easy. Um, How honestly, long does it take to get processed? In, in, I mean, do you know, is there like a rough estimate or is it just... It doesn't take long. Okay. Now, uh, it would be hard for me to give you a specific timeline because it really sure. depends on what might be happening right now. Sure. Uh, it might be a little longer, a little less. I know people who've gotten it in a week. Okay. Fair enough. I mean, it's just like a regular visa. I regular thought maybe visa. it would take longer because it's like not a really. The, what takes category. long is getting the documents in place and getting okay. that approval document. Okay. So a lot of people who we spoke with said, getting all the attestations done. The student was like, I had to get all my like you know qualifications attested mm-hmm. through the Ministry of Education, or if I was coming from another country, from that countries, embassy, right. etc. Right. That took long, but the visa process itself was the quickest thing. Yeah, didn't uh, take time. Or okay. making a portfolio if you're an artist. Like, right. you know, that'll take long and, and applying for the letter. Right. But right. the visa itself does not take very long. Okay. So visa. just to recap, we've got the 10-year visa, which is right. the golden visa. Right. And then we've got the green visa, which right. is, um, you know, is a wider pool of yeah. applicants, yeah. allows a wider pool of applicants, right. which also gives you the opportunity to have a longer, a slightly longer yeah. a residency visa than the usual visa because it's five years. Right. Okay. The next one. Right. Remote work. Yes. Remote that work. is the most interesting. Like, who qualifies for that? Is it investors? Is it a business owners? Who, like, who can apply for For me, it? what's interesting is why why do people want it? And it's literally like, it's the UAE. You yes. know, it's, it's the UAE lifestyle, which I would like to enjoy. Even if I don't have a job here, I have a great job I was in just gonna X say. country. Yeah. But I want to live in the UAE because it offers that kind of uh, quality of life. And we've seen that it's attracted so many people. Yeah. And you can, you don't have to be an investor. Mm-hmm. Okay. You could be an IT professional who can who can work remotely. Okay. And just come to the UAE. Um, you need to uh, fulfill a salary requirement. I, uh, if I'll, I'll just reconfirm how much it is. I think okay. it's eighteen thousand dirhams. So it's called the Virtual Working Program, or the Remote Work Visa. And uh, essentially, like the proof of employment is uh, three thousand five hundred dirhams. Uh, sorry, three thousand five hundred US dollars. Yes. per month salary just provide your pay slips for the past three months um, if you're a business owner you can also apply for it and okay. then you'll just have to provide how much you earn monthly from your investments okay and the visa is issued for a year mm-hmm. it's renewable and you can just easily live in the UAE and work for any country in the world. It's wonderful. Yeah. Honestly, <laughs> I've I've actually met people that have it. Right. And they were saying they get the best of both worlds now. Exactly. They I mean if they live in countries that are, you know, predominantly winter countries. Right. Yeah. I mean they get the sunlight, they get year everything. Long sun. Yeah, year long mm-hmm. sun and yeah. they get the good weather, they get the, you know, the 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 Dubai life or the UAE yeah. life. Yeah. And at the same time, they've kept their jobs exactly. because they were working remotely anyway in their home countries or and whatever And it might country. be a great job. Yes. But you want to live. Like I said, yes. I have a great job, but I want to live in the UAE because it offers that quality exactly. of life. You can do that as well. Like I said, the new visas that have been issued are actually catering to so many needs that people have. It's, it's really interesting. So right. do find out if you can actually qualify for a longer term visa or, right. or move to the UAE even if you don't work here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So again, let's recap because right. there's so much information <laughs> that we it's said. It's a huge umbrella. Okay. Yes. Maria, the golden visa is a huge umbrella. Yes. And that would require for each category we have specific articles. So mm-hmm. for investors, for real estate investors, non real estate investors. Right. Um, we've got specific articles for that because mm-hmm. it is pretty pretty wide. Yes. Um, you've got doctors, you've got um, like, you know, the artists you've got all of those people so within uh, the golden visa you've got a huge umbrella right and different benefits right a 10 year visa yes mainly uh, then you've got the green visa which is for professionals for um, freelancers mm-hmm. and that's a separate category altogether and right. how do you apply for uh, your family's sponsorship under a green visa so because these are like huge like you know topics we have very specific detailed guides on each category Okay. So that really helps. Just go quickly and just do a search on it. Green visa, um, freelancer. Mm-hmm. Like I'm a freelancer, but I, I don't want to get a two-year visa. I want to get a five-year visa. You, right. You'll get the article. And it's going to 
kind of summarize all the information that you need from a reader friendly perspective as well okay not plugging stuff in but it actually no. really helps i've heard people say that it actually helps to kind of just get all the information i need in one place right so, right yeah. right no plug it it's <laughs> gulfnews.com/living in the uae living in uae yeah exactly and and that's just that's how it is i mean yeah. you want to get the information please yeah. visit the website yeah. or Email us on readers at golfnews.com. That's right. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. So 10-year visa or the golden visa is 10 years. There yes. are categories or yeah. uh, salary brackets. Okay. The green visa is a five-year visa and it has a wider pool of applicants or yeah. allows a wider pool of applicants. Yeah. And then we have the remote working visa. Right which is a one year visa right. renewable obviously year right. on year and is for anyone that has a salary bracket of 18000 dirhams or 3500 US, US dollars, dollars. Yeah. um and uh if you're a business owner you just have to present your yearly earnings basically yeah. uh, or your proof of investment or sometimes um there's another category where if you pay certain amount of taxes so okay. you can get a letter from the federal tax authority as well mm-hmm. so there are really a lot of ways in which you can actually um get a long term visa or a residence option in the UAE perfect okay last question what's your advice to people that might be confused like let's say i'm i'm right now thinking of applying for a golden visa but the green visa also seems interesting what's right. your advice like if i'm confused or if i want to know more you could literally just ask yourself some basic questions like uh what could i possibly qualify as okay a professional a business owner a freelancer what kind of a professional and if you just log on to like you know the living in ue section and type golden visa you'll literally see a whole um in-depth explainer and just scroll through it mm-hmm. and just stop where it's relevant to you okay so if you're a an id professional to stop there mm-hmm. and see what are the requirements available okay uh, you could also just uh, go and speak with an expert um around the corner like you know around the street mm-hmm. you might have a typing center like you know yeah. next door go speak with them amazing it's the information's easily available yes it's uh, it can be overwhelming when you're not actually speaking to someone but the moment you start speaking to an expert it really becomes very easy to kind of like you know understand yeah hoda Thank you so much. Thank we have you. so many other visas that we're going to discuss. <laughs> I'm going to bring you back yeah. on because there's like a yeah. retirement visa. There's a yes. student visa. There's yes. there's so many different types yeah. that we will actually also address because I think those are a bit unfamiliar to a lot of people. Yeah. And I, I feel like I didn't know. You might them. not know that there's a visa that's applicable to you. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And it's always good to share that information because exactly. some people just don't have that information. But when mm-hmm. they do, they can actually use yeah. it. And it would be If I can just um again uh, rec- request people just follow us on social media we yes. really promote these stories um they're very easy to follow uh, Facebook Twitter Instagram LinkedIn yes. TikTok Yes and if you have questions just drop a message there we're checking all of the questions so <laughs> we can actually just kind of send you um the link to a story or do a new story if if it merits the kind of like a you know, question you've asked Amazing and yeah. again readers at golfnews.com if That's you it. choose to email us yeah. questions concerns yeah. Huda is always uh, g- here to ask anything living in the UAE yeah. to answer all these questions Huda thank you so much for joining us Thank you very much Maria always great talking to you Thank you Thank you.